So next up, we're going to be taking a look at how you would actually go about creating custom transitions. And this section is going to work kind of like a mini exercise, but it's not a official mini exercise. But like I just said, it's going to work kind of like a mini exercise in the sense that you guys can go over to, to resources and go ahead and download this example clip, which would be a great one I thought to work through. And the reason is, is because it is very obvious that we could create a custom transition here. Um, and this is the section that I'm talking about. So if you guys go ahead and import your clip, um, that you can download through resources. This right here might just look like a you know regular clip, but it's actually ideal for creating a uh, first beginner custom transition. And the reason for that is because of this lady walking across right here. Now you can't even see the lady, but we are actually going to be able to utilize this um, covering of the screen here to when her leg starts coming past this point, create a mask along here in line with her leg and adjust it all the way across the screen so that when she walks across like this, it is going to create the look that a new clip is transitioning on here via the masking tools which are available on the opacity section. So first off guys, import your clip and I want you guys to just jump in before just before she comes onto the screen. So just before these legs start coming across the screen, I want you guys to make a cut. So let's say right about here, okay? And I'm just continuing off in that same um, folder that we worked on in the last little thing right here or that same sequence rather that we worked on that in the, la uh, in the last mini exercise. So once you guys have this clip trimmed, let's give it a play. This is a brief walk across the screen and it will be uh, making for an ideal custom transition. Now how I would start this guys is I would actually step forward frame by frame until the first area that um, the, the, the background comes through her leg right here and is visible. So this, this bit down here, I wouldn't pay attention to too much. Okay. We're not going to have to go the further step and do that. I think that's a little bit too complex for us to start off with. But if we go ahead and select this first frame and actually just go ahead and press 25. So we've got a little bit more to work with and then go straight over here to our free draw Bezier tool and just go ahead and click that. Okay. And what we want to do right now, guys, is actually just go ahead and create a mask around this leg right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start creating a basic mask by clicking, holding, and essentially just painting on or drawing on a rough outline. Okay, now once we've done that, let's just go ahead and finish that off by creating a circle and finishing it off by connecting it here. Now you'll notice it will section off this area. Um, that's obviously the, the opposite of the effect we want, seeing as we would want this section to be highlighted and that section there to be um, alpha with the, with the background essentially not there. So if we were to reverse this, all we would do is click invert. And right away you start seeing that obviously right there, once we drag it all the way, is going to be um, kind of transparent essentially. So anything that we put below it, for example, um, it, it, if I were to bring this up to the next layer and bring one of these um, clips below it right now, even though we've only chopped that tiny section away, that is essentially transparent right there. So it is going to be showing whatever is below it. Um, uh, and currently, obviously, that is just black. Now you see how currently, seeing as we've just done a nice mask here, it uh, is kind of rough edges. Obviously, I would encourage you guys to tweak the feather. I am going to mess with the feather quite a bit. And once I've tweaked the feather, you notice it does start kind of going out a little bit and showing more of the background here. That's because we do want to mess with the expansion as well. The perfect match between the mask and the expansion is no set amount, but I think it's look, starting to look pretty nice on 65 um, or 64 uh, feather. And the expansion could probably be on about 58 as well. So go ahead and mask the expansion. Go ahead and mask the um, path, okay? And now simply all we want to do is just start going forward a frame and simply clicking that mask and bringing it back in to adjust it. And that is pretty much what we want to do. Now, creating custom transitions can be a very tedious process if you start messing up. So I will warn you guys now that it is better to go through and just try and be as precise as possible. For example, like I'm trying to do now um, to avoid yourself having to come back and readjust. And the process here is is simply just to just to keep throwing that back 
into the um, similar place that it just was and adjusting this um, mask so that it is cutting off um, whatever is being shown between these legs here. And that is essentially what we want to keep on doing is just adjusting this so that we are cutting off whatever is shown between here. So let's just keep on working through frame by frame and trying to adjust this mask so that it best suits this leg right here and starts to show us whatever is behind this leg right here. So it's a very simple process, honestly, guys, is just to keep on ticking forward, and it looks like we are going to um, have to start adjusting this leg right here now because it starts going down, and just keep on tweaking this to our liking. In fact, I think we might have actually messed up back here. Yes, we did. So, oh, yep, you, you, you see what I mean? You do have to be very cautious of the movement that is actually taking place. However, with the feather, you can do a decent job of um, making your mistakes kind of go away almost um, because it kind of just fades everything out. But as you see, we keep working through here now, it is is changing much more in size and shape, but we just keep on working our way through Keep on adjusting frame by frame, and believe me, guys, this is a tedious process, but it is the most tedious stuff all throughout editing, and be careful of this because this is starting to show over here now. Um, but throughout, throughout the process of editing, to really start performing the nicest effects, you are really going to have to put a lot of tweaking time into it. Um, it is quite a technical process, and as you can see here, we are really just trying to create a nice outline for this. Um, so we could actually just have a nice mask here. And that right there is um, needs to be pushed over a little bit more. And just try and create this as precise as you can, guys. Um, as you see here, I'm just trying to just trying to get this as nice as possible to fit what's going on. It looks like I need to drag that in a little bit more. And I'm really just working through this frame by frame. You, can, you see we are nearly, nearly with her all the way across the screen, but it is a very gradual process and a very frame-by-frame -frame process. Um, we could jump through here and just go ahead and keep adjusting this. Um, it looks like we've got a decent, a decent outline so far, but we might want to start changing that a little bit. Bring that in here. Cool. Uh, drag that over a little bit. Um, and believe me guys, it is fiddly, so don't be too annoyed. Personally, I'm kind of like a ADD kind of guy, so trust me, this, this type of stuff is, is tough for me, maybe even tougher um, for you, uh, simply because I already have a pretty limited attention span where if I'm kind of doing something mundane like this, it can be a little bit annoying, but... Trust me, the end result is always worth it, or, you know, the majority of the time, it is worth it. So I'm just trying to tweak this to make this fit in here. Go ahead and bring this over a little bit more. Okay, nice. And just kind of bring this again. Kind of fit that in there. We are definitely getting close to the finish now, guys. All we have to do is keep on slotting this in and adjusting accordingly to how this is going and I think this is definitely a really good example for you guys because it is um, essentially the strategy that I try and use when creating a custom transition is to not create like a really um, out there crazy transition but almost try and make the transition blend into something that you've got going on in your scene already for example like this is a great um, it is just a great scene where clearly this leg covers the whole screen and it's honestly kind of like the perfect example of how to create a nice custom transition. So you see this is now changing quite a bit. We need to bring this in here, start bringing that around. Nice, have that curved around a little bit. Overall, it might not be perfect for uh, for your first try, but it's definitely going to give you an idea of how to pull off this type of effect better later down the road. So keep on creating that. We're honestly about five frames away right now, guys. We are not far at all. Keep popping this on. Keep adjusting so that we actually are making this fit all right. Just 
looking okay here. Keep adjusting. Let's go one more frame over and we are totally nearly there right now. About four frames away. Let's go one more. Again, just do this small adjust. You can tell it's coming to the end almost by the small amount of movement that's going through now. And try and just not have any of that background section showing. Oh, it looks like it's definitely almost gone now. One more frame. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you see my, uh, my frames have started to peak behind here. If I go back a frame or two, it looks like I need to adjust that. Um, as I forgot that those were, those guys were coming through. Let's have a look. Okay, it looks like here we are kind of okay. Yep, okay, now keep going through. There is the next frame that we have yet to do. I don't even have to re uh, reestablish to you guys that, uh, or, or just go over again that this is a very tedious process and that it is quite a lot of tweaking to achieve essentially like a, a, a couple seconds of an effect. And here we go. As we bring this over, this is nearing nearing the finish line. And the objective is to obviously have the entire mask cover the entire screen so that we can replace um, this mask with, with something else. So now we bring this here. Simply bring that up there. And we are about two frames from the end one final one here and now this right here can be our final one where we make this fill the entire screen and now if we are to go back to here and actually just on this first frame just go ahead and bring this off that means that as soon as this person starts coming on screen it is going to create a default transition like that so if we were actually to go to that clip uh, or to, to go to this that we've just created here guys and bring that other clip down below we can have a look at how effectively of a transition it does onto this below layer. So let's give that a play. And as you can see right there, it definitely does look a little bit amateur, um, as um, of course we didn't take the most time in the world, but oh, and I've just noticed a problem that clearly um, I need to go to the frame before that it actually comes on. So here and put here that it is off so that it just comes on screen for that selection. But if we give this a play now, guys, um, very cool, honestly. It starts working its way up, and actually, this lady walks on a new clip, or you have the look that she is walking on a new clip, and as her legs go across the screen, in fact, I could even go over here a bit, so it's playing, there's people walking across the screen, and then all of a sudden, this lady decides she's walking across, and she actually walks a whole new clip onto the screen, and that, in its essence, guys, is a walk is a walkthrough of of creating custom transitions. I'll give you guys another play of that quickly. And um, overall, I think that's a very nice one taker there that we've created together. And I'm really happy that I actually had you guys download that from the resources so you could follow through with an identical example to the one that I just walked through here, which is this lady actually walking a whole new clip on. And it's a very cool example of a custom transition.